getting into Google is not simply about cracking an interview. It's about understanding what engineering looks like at an insane scale. Google builds systems that millions rely on every day. Systems that cannot fail, cannot lag, and cannot be messy. When you're applying to Google, you're not really wanting to be a coder. You're wanting to be an engineer who builds systems based on resilience, clarity, and long-term impact. Hi, I'm Nishita, and you're watching GFG, your one-stop solution for all coding-related problems. The guide that we're about to share shares the mindset, the same one that's used inside Google's engineering culture. Section by section, you'll step into the thought process of a Google engineer. And we're not just going to tell you about what to study, but how to think in that direction. Inside Google, engineering is built on a structure and not improvisation. A problem isn't attacked directly. It's simplified, reframed, and understood to the core. Engineers at Google constantly ask themselves certain questions like, what am I actually trying to solve? What are the constraints? What will break first? They don't chase clever tricks or shortcuts. Instead, they look for clean solutions that can scale from a thousand to a billion users without rewriting the entire system. Every decision is reasoned, every assumption is challenge and every design is evaluated on the basis of how understandable these things would be for the future engineers who inherit this code. The Google mindset is built on clarity before code. In real work and in interviews, a Google engineer would first start by outlining the problem, then asking questions to remove any form of ambiguity till the problem becomes solvable with confidence. It also means thinking in trade-offs, meaning that every design choice costs something. More memories by speed, more replicas by reliability, more caching means less load, but it also introduces inconsistencies. This awareness is what separates a Google-level engineer than a coder who simply wants the code to work. And above all, Google Google engineers are obsessed with simplicity. A solution that's boring but elegant would always beat a solution that's clever but fragile. Data structures and algorithms is still the backbone of Google's interview process because they reveal your raw thinking. But Google isn't particularly looking for somebody who's memorized over 2000 problems. They're looking for somebody who can walk into a brand new problem and calmly break it down from its first principles. When Google evaluates your DSA skill, they're actually listening to your reasoning. They want to see how you discard incorrect approaches, how you compare two possible strategies, how you justify your choice, and how you handle the edge cases without being prompted. Your code needs to to have that same clarity. You're rewarded for writing a code that another engineer would instantly understand. Readable variables, understandable logic, and a well thought out flow. System design is where Google's expectations become obvious. Almost every system that you discuss is an interview. From caches to chat apps to search engines, all of these are some things that Google has built on a monstrous scale. Your job isn't to copy Google's architecture. Your job is to show you understand how large distributed systems work. You think about the bottlenecks before they appear, the failures before they happen, and scale before the load arrives. When you start designing a system the Google way, you start with the simplest view possible and then expand outwards. How will the system behave with one server, with 10, with 10,000? Where does the data live? How is it fetched? How does it stay consistent across regions? You show that you can simplify complexity, not drown in it. Beyond algorithms and architectures, Google values engineers who truly understand how systems behave. That means recognizing the cost of a cache miss, understanding why one algorithm stresses the memory while another stresses the CPU. Google engineers write a code with the understanding that everything from a loop to a database connection has a cost. They don't over-engineer, but they don't ignore the fundamentals either. This grounding in low-level behavior is what makes their system predictable, stable, and performance safe. Coding inside Google feels like writing for an audience. Your code must be clean, intentional, and future-proof. Google engineers write a code as if someone else will maintain it tomorrow, because someone else definitely will. Tests aren't an afterthought, they're a part of a design. And refactoring isn't a chore, it's a responsibility. And communication, both written and verbal, is treated as a core engineering skill. When you work at Google, it's not good enough for your idea to be good. It needs to be understandable, documented, reviewed, and extremely consistent. This is why interviews focus so strongly on clarity because Google is hiring collaborators, not lone geniuses. 
The interview process in Google revolves around two pillars. It's technical thinking and collaborative thinking. In coding round, they judge you not only on the basis of whether you can solve the problem, they also see if you can communicate your decision, explain your assumption and change the solution when new information arises. In system design, they evaluate whether you can think under the scale. Do you understand how components interact? Can you foresee the consequences of your choice? And can you explain your approach in a very simple way to another engineer? And finally, Google looks for Google the idea of humility, curiosity, clarity and the ability to challenge ideas respectfully. They want people who can work well with others at a high level. To become someone Google wants to hire, you must practice in a way that increases engineering maturity. The goal isn't to grind endless problems, it's to understand the problem deeply enough to understand why your solution works. Projects should demonstrate structure and reasoning, not just features. When you build something, even something small, think like a Google engineer. Document your thought process, design before writing code, think of performance before it breaks, and reflect on what the system could look like if it was serving millions. Depth beats breadth every time. You don't become a Google engineer on the day you get an offer. You become one long before, when you start thinking clearly, questioning your assumptions, simplifying your solutions, and thinking through every code with intention. A Google engineer is someone who builds clarity over complexity, consistency, and scalability over short-term wins. There's someone who sees engineering not as a code, but as a craft. Getting into Google is not a race, it's a transformation. So when you get that Google mindset, thoughtful, structured, scalable thinking, problems become puzzles, constraints become tool, and systems become stories. If you take your time, build depth, and evolve your thinking, you don't just become the kind of engineer Google selects. You become the kind of engineer Google was built for. So keep hustling, work hard, and you will definitely get your Google dream. Till then, I will see you later.